I'm Roberto Tarabas. I'm the owner of uh, Third Law, Team Third Law, uh, Brazilian Juice of Muay Thai Kickboxing. I always wanted to be a professional athlete. I wanted to be a professional baseball player. And due to circumstances that reality hits, and I was came as a political refugee from Cuba, and I had to provide for my mother, who is the only family I had in this country, I had to put academics ahead of my dream of being a professional athlete. But after I graduated from Cornell, I was able to put my mom in a, in a better situation. I was able to provide for her. And during Cornell, I, uh, I was trying, training judo. And I met this group of kids that were training Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I was like, what is that? And when I went out, I tried it out. And I used to be a very strong and be able to bench press over 325 pounds. And never forget this little kid, very out of shape, who submitted me three times. And then that day is when I fell in love with Brazilian jiu-jitsu. The way the adult program is designed is first we try to get the bodies healthy. We want to make sure that they're strong, ready for the for the, the techniques that we're going to do. We, we've broken this thing down to a science from positions, basic positions to more elaborate. It's no way that uh, anybody cannot uh, study Brazilian history under our school. Um, we make sure that we break it piece by piece. We approach a progressive um, methodology for teaching the techniques and we have seen a excellent results. One of my my current, my current instructors were those uh, young uh, and when they started they were 21 and now they're not, not Pan American champions, national champions, uh, great accomplishments and we have uh, even at those who are who are in their 45s competing in the adult divisions and winning internationally is, is we have uh, surgeons, doctors, lawyers, you know great group of people, great group of people and I think uh, we have to thank the quote that founded our school. We need to thank that we respect our elders at our school. We are an old school. We we have a lot of manners, and I always tell my adults, you know, I'm the black belt in the room, and I know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but by no way put me, put me in a pedestal, and think of me as the as the you know the wise old master. I'm 31 years of age, and and I tell them, you know, I have a lot to learn from you guys as, as far as being parents, as far as being a person. I'm only 31 year old, and I think that this respect that everybody has for one another, and how much everybody um shares for one another and cares about uh, 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 for one another and we learn from one another and we contribute to one another we have you know about every subject is being the glue of our team the adults the adults now have their kids training with us it's like being part of a big family you know and uh, we're just gonna keep growing it we're gonna keep doing activities together and the sky's the limit stand like an ass ear to the shoulder stand like an ass When we started working with the kids, we realized that what parents were looking for kids was not just for them to be the best world champions and martial artists in the world, but to help them with certain things that they were struggling with right now. I should shoot a bar shot, cool, I'm coming in here. I'm on my diligence. But now I don't see him. You see, he doesn't bring his, his legs forward. When somebody wants to get it in you, they bring the legs forward. And then their hips get all away from him, so now it's easy for me to drive. I want you never to get afraid of the shot. You, can, you finish your shot. And when I started looking at all the programs from gymnastics, from soccer to lacrosse, tennis, I started looking at the public schools, their after school programs, the private schools, and I realized that even though the United States has so many wonderful things to offer, they were deficient in a couple of things. They weren't teaching the kids work ethic. You know, a lot of times everybody was getting a gold, a gold medal just for um, competing. Right, and uh, Cuba had always taught me one thing as an immigrant in this nation, the value of hard work, the value of responsibility. And a lot of times people were just sugarcoating things. And I didn't want to run a school like that because I, I also have this idea that results speak louder than words. Who, you, you cannot reach with this arm, because I'll put you in an arm triangle here, and then I he'll roll, and I, he'll get you here. Okay, so you always gotta reach with the same side hand first, 
bring their arm down. At the end of the day, after one year, is the kid being on your program, can you significantly see the improvements of the kid in all aspects of his life? And I went out and, and, and embraced that idea and I went out to make a program that helps kids in so many ways. The quality assurance, how do I make sure, for, how do I test it for quality? It was very simple. I treat every single kid the way that I would like my son or daughter to be treated. I didn't want my kids to be two months away from our influence. So I set out to build a summer camp program where it was about outdoors. We started doing field trips. We started buying every single bounce house that we could possibly buy. We did a, a sleepovers. We went to Disney World, rented a house. We stuck all these kids together, activities that they will remember for the rest of their lives and that they we had never done. Because nowadays life is so complicated that to get 10 kids or 15 kids or 20 kids in one house, enjoying each other's presence, having fun, is unheard of. We succeeded at having college's best summer camp program. But then there was another issue. The issue became that the kids were not doing well academically. And I said to my wife, if we open an after-school program, what would we do it about? Well, it's not every day, my wife also went to Cornell, that you have two Ivy League graduates, one in English and history and one in uh, engineering, which is physics and math, be able to work with kids. But the idea was simple. I said, let's focus in our after-school program and giving these parents the best academic support system that we can possibly offer them. If you're interested in trying an activity, trying something new that has the potential to change your life and the life of your beloved ones forever, you got to give us a call. Okay, Give us a call or visit us on the website, www.team Third Law. We have a 30-day free trial. You can try our programs for 30 days free Okay, with no risk. Okay, The phone number is 239-628-3529. 239 628 Do not delay on, in, on in changing your life forever.